Hey there, this is Jill and welcome back to the pickle jar. This is a very special message for one of my, someone that I have looked up to for probably almost two decades and that's Tosca Reno. And before I get to the special message I have for her, I want to tell you guys a little bit about her and why I think it's so important that you check her out. So Tosca Reno is, um, she's Canadian and she has founded the Eat Clean Diet. Um, she, so I met Tosca years ago at some fitness camps in Toronto that I went to, and this was before I was diagnosed with Addison's disease. So Tosca would come on the Friday nights with her husband, Bob Kennedy. They had oxygen magazine and they would come and she would do this wonderful talk about, um, her eat clean diet books that were coming out. And it was just, it wasn't just the information that she was presenting. And because, you know, it's, it really is basic foundation eat clean food, you know, it, it's your basic eat well, eat often, um, fuel your body with good, healthy nutrition. And, but it, it was her personality and the way she radiated and the way she presented the information, it was just, you couldn't help but get on board. You couldn't help but know that this was her passion. This is what she believed in. And it was just so, so inspiring. So I really became, um, dedicated to eating as clean as I possibly can and following her principles. You know, I got all of her books. I went to ton of, tons of book signings. Um, and she actually, in a way, became part of my Addison's journey. Because um, what happened was one year, so I was diagnosed in March of 2011. The fall of 2010, we attended one of these fitness camps and Tosca was there the Friday night. So before we did the, she did her talk, and we kind of had our seminar with our, with her, we, we worked out and, um, she was actually behind me in line and we had to do like an army crawl across the gym floor. And I remember being so nervous that she was behind me. I was scared. I was going to fall. I was scared. You know, I was just so nervous, you know, like somebody I looked up to so much was behind me and we were both sweating and we're both trying to crawl across this gym floor. Um, Later that weekend, I noticed on my left wrist, I had a bruise and I just took it as, oh, that was from when I did the army crawl with Tosca that I must have hit my wrist. And there's just a very small, maybe the size of a pencil head on my, on my wrist. So I just kind of ignored it and come after Christmas, just before New Year's that year, I noticed that that little dot was still there. That dark spot was still there. And I found it very concerning. Um, because I thought it should have gone away. If it was bruised, it should have healed. And that was my first indication that my body was starting to show signs of hyperpigmentation. And it led me to start putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. I noticed other spots of hyperpigmentation on my body. I started to explore my body. I started to think about other things that were going on, like sleeping too much, salt cravings, all those things. And I realized that there was, there was something wrong with me. So what that little dot ended up being was, um, a pressure point from my watch. I had a Timex watch and it was from over the course of time, you can get hyperpigmentation initially um, can be seen on somebody developing Addison's disease because that push on my watch was so constant. Um, it was one of the first spots that I got hyperpigmentation. So Tosca is a little bit about, <laughs> she's a little bit apart in my Addison's journey. So, um, but I've always looked up to her and her principles. And like I said, it's, it's how she radiates as a human being. She's honest, she's real. She is just absolutely incredible. And I have reached out to her this week in hopes that she can come onto the podcast and share some of her knowledge. Um, because like I said, the information's out there, but we need a means to get it. And I am a big believer the way I eat helps me manage my illness. It is the biggest drug we have. I believe it saved me during my diagnosis because I was so in tune to my body. I was eating as closely as I could to the eat clean diet, which again, let me just tell you, it's just eating clean. It's, it's whole foods, it's protein to it's healthy carbohydrates, it's vegetables. It's all the things that we know we're supposed to be doing spread throughout the day. So we have lots of energy and it's absolutely incredible. So I want you to check out toscarino.com. Um, and I'm just a big believer of options. Okay. We all need to have choices. And I think this is a fabulous choice if you're looking for guidance um, in terms of nutrition and all that stuff, because she is so amazing. So um, 
And yeah, and we always go with what speaks to us. And I know she will speak to you. I know her honesty and her realness and her matter of fact, no judgment, no nothing will speak to you. So this is a message for Tosca. Um, how much I appreciate you and everything that you have done in my life. Um, what you've instilled in me by just being you is absolutely incredible. So I would love it if you could come on the podcast and share with us a little bit of your time, a little bit about who you are, the eat clean diet and how it can change people's lives and how important it is for people, especially people with chronic illnesses to fuel our bodies properly so that we can heal so that we can manage our illness and we can have the best quality of life. So thank you so much. I will put Tosca's um, website. It's toscarino.com in the show notes. So please check her out. And until next time, please be well, my pickles.